first cool. off, congratulations on the release of The Royal Treatment, since it'll be out when this interview is out. How has that release been for you or building up to the release? Yes, sure. Oh, thank you. Um, look, it's very exciting, I have to say. Um, I've been checking on the YouTube, the trailer they've got. It's almost 5 million views now, which is amazing. Yeah. Just under 5 million. And it's fantastic. So, and there's some great teasers uh, out on the Netflix site. Um, I'm very excited to, I mean, I've seen the movie. Um, okay. Not many have. So, and I can tell you it's fantastic. I think it's going to be very, very popular, I have to say. I know already there's a lot of buzz about it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it's, the time is absolutely right for it because, you know, we want some upbeat, fun stuff and it's it's really charming and, and delightful, I have to say. Yeah. yeah, it's the perfect way to start off the new year. It is. It absolutely is. I think people are going to love it. Um, a lot of my friends are very excited and I think people around the world are. And what's amazing about being on Netflix is it's international. It's getting a global release, so it's just over 190 countries. Yeah. Which is sort of, for me, that's sort of mind boggling, to be honest. <laughs> it's a lot of people, and that's a lot of reach, especially for actors. No, it absolutely is. I mean, it's um, this, this may be the biggest audience I've ever had. Mm -hmm. uh, Harry Lakeen, who's like the Netflix uh, producer on this, uh, he's fantastic. He said to me, This might be the biggest audience I get. Although I said to him, I have had 30 seconds of Lord of the Rings. So that, yeah. You know, by <laughs> <laughs> I mean, going along with what you've done in the past, you've been in a lot of different movies and TV shows. I'm wondering if you have a favorite role that you've done to date. Yeah, sure. No, that's a good question. And, and also, I've, I've done a lot of time in the theater. So I spent a lot of time doing a lot of plays, probably, probably 100 plays, um, mainly in New Zealand, but I've toured where I'm from and where I'm now, but I've toured to other countries. So probably Cyrano de Bergerac would be my favorite one. I see there's a movie coming out of that yeah. soon. Um, but that was a few years ago now, but I played on stage. It's a great role. That's a very demanding role. I love playing that. And in terms of um, movies, I did a movie in 2014 called Housebound, which is a indie horror film. And actually horror is one of my favorite genres, to be honest. Really? <laughs> and yeah, I love going to see horror, horror and political thrillers. Although rom-coms, hey, this is a rom-com. I was going to say that's much different than what you're doing right now. <laughs> Incredibly. And, and Rick Jacobson, the director, who was fantastic, he's mainly done things like Spartacus and Ash vs. Evil Dead. And, you know, I think he may have done one rom-com before. So we're kind of newcomers to rom-coms. But, <laughs> but I do love, I love comedy. So my, my role in Housebound uh, was really great. That was sort of a horror comedy. It sort of, it sort of did both. And I played a a psychiatrist who, I don't want to spoil it if everyone wants to see it, but a psychiatrist, <laughs> something happens with me. Um, but I'm also playing a psychiatrist now in a TV show called The Brokenwood Mysteries, which is a their movie length show that plays on Acorn in America. I, I get cast as psychiatrist, although of course the royal treatment, I'm more like the PA or the, you know, like like Alfred and Batman, I suppose. Yeah, I was gonna say there's definitely a few references there, especially from the trailer. How did that feel, kind of like stepping into that role? Oh, look, it was look. I have to say, it's quite funny because I um I went over to Sydney uh, and spent a, a couple of years there, you know, trying it out. I did some TV jobs and some theatre, but to pay the bills, as every actor on the planet has done, I worked in hospitality. <laughs> so really, yeah, I did that when I was much younger in London, and I vowed I'd never do it again. But then. <laughs> Years, years later in Sydney, a, fr a mate of mine who was an actor, he said, look, there's a really good company you could work for. They're called, they called Stedman's. I'm a club plug-in for them. Stedman's here in Sydney. They're really great. And they're very high standard. And I worked in a lot of exclusive homes of very rich people, okay. being like their waiter. And there were people who had butlers, live in butlers. And I'd never seen that before in my life. And in Australia, they have that. They have that, of course, around the world. I'm not sure we really have that in New Zealand. So I observed these people. And I kind of assumed this role um, of this well-spoken, you know, polite person who, who got good at serving drinks. <laughs> Walter is not that far away from it. So it was a bit like a research <laughs> in real life for the Walter character, yeah. who was very much like that, where it's about etiquette and appearance, grooming is very important. Mm -hmm. And not to give anything away about the character, but there's a bit of a backstory to Walter, which gets, which you find out about in that. So I'm not just a functionary character, I'm quite integral to do with, with Mina's character. Mina's fantastic. Mina and Laura were fantastic to work with. So Walter has a lovely journey, but I've, I've observed these people who 
live like Walter, like these Walters, you know, mm -hmm. that's their life. And they and they service, their life is service to others. Um, I have to say I enjoyed it. I wouldn't want to be a waiter for the rest of my life. In fact, I hope I never have to do it again. <laughs> Hopefully you stick to acting. <laughs> I, I think I will now. I think I will now. <laughs> yeah. But no, talking more about your character, Walter, if you could describe him in three words, what do you think they would be? Ah, okay. I think he's very dedicated. Mm -hmm. um, he's very empathetic and he's very heartfelt. So he's a very warm person, actually, uh, but he's very dedicated. He's, he's kind of married to his job. Mm -hmm. So dedication and service is huge, but he is very empathetic to the prince and to others. Like he, as you'll see in the movie, he very much is, is attuned to, as a, as a good butler would be or a good PA is, you know, yeah. they just attuned to good, very high EQ, you know, very attuned to the needs of others, um, possibly to the detriment of himself yeah and uh, yeah you know but he's also he's not cold and he's not cold and removed and stiff at all he's kind of although he speaks very well he's very kind of um well spoken you see the trailer and also the royal family are very well spoken though it's yeah. not set in england it's set in lavania which is a an imaginary um, european country a bit like monaco or something i think we're quite we seem quite english actually <laughs> but we're not re we're not really because it's not like the crown you know i love the crown um, but you see those characters. Have you seen The Crown? You know, the, yeah. the Netflix series. You've got all those, you know, those people who, um, and actually I was in a play called The Audience, which is, which The Crown was based on, which is about the Queen, Queen Elizabeth. And I played one of the Prime Ministers, Harold Wilson. We did the stage version of it, which Helen Mirren did on the West End and in, on Broadway. Um, and that's a bit like that too. When you get these characters who are the equerries and things who are very, you know, they know all the etiquette of the royal family. Well, there's a little bit like that, but not really. He, He's much naughtier and he's much more like the prince's best. He's like the prince's best friend. From the trailer, I see that your character spends a lot of time with both Mina and Laura. Was there anything like, was there a certain scene that you really remember or favored with them? Yes, there's one really big scene, but I don't want to talk about it because it's too integral to the plot. But it's a really, look, I have to say one of the favorite scenes I've ever done in my life. Really? And, That's a bold I don't want to talk about it too much because it kind of will ruin it. But it's a really great scene I have with Mina. And it's, um, um, we spent a long time. And we, the great thing about this movie is we spent, we had a lot of, we, a lot of detail for the performances, you know, more than you often get with television. You know, the great thing about a movie in this movie, there's so much attention to detail. And so we could really go there, you know, and we, um, Mina and I really bonded. We, we've become really good friends. And there's a really great scene, which you'll see in the movie. Um, we had a lot of great scenes. There's one particular great scene with Mina. And also there's a couple of really great scenes with Laura um, and her whole extended family, you know, in the hairdressers, um, yes. uh, you know, Italian, Italian American, which is, I have to say, not unlike Laura's real family, because her sister and her mother are the producers as well. Really? And they, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then, the, yeah. So there's the, the Moranos, uh, you know, um, uh, like a, an amazing um, powerhouse of, uh, of producer energy and Vanessa Moranos is an actor and, and Ellen is, mother, is an actor, I think, and, and uh, was it a drama teacher and, and now they're producers. So they were there a lot in New Zealand and Dunedin we filmed. And they're really fun. Like they, they've, they've got that real Italian spirit and love red wine as I do. <laughs> and they're fun. So we had some really good fun scenes. You see a little bit in the teaser, the teaser scene actually, we were in the kitchen and we're kind of dancing around mm. and there's pasta and red wine and stuff. There's really that, that really great scene. And there's a couple of really nice scenes where I'm really connecting um, with, with Laura's character. And we had some improvisation and stuff and you just see little snippets of it in the teaser more. Um, there's one which is kind of like a, like a scenes, we film this historic house and, and it was seen in the movie anyway, but we're doing stuff with handshakes and hands and, cause I'm a bit stiff actually. And she's kind of loose, you know, Brooklyn girl. And she, she helps loosen everybody up, loosens me up. So we had real connection and we, we're also really good friends now. So that's, I don't want to give too much away. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> but it's, That's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm wondering for you personally, do you have any future projects that are coming up that you could talk about? Well, I suppose only at the moment I'm doing this, this Broken Wood Mysteries, which is um, which is really fun. And we film. I just filmed one, and now I'm going to be in a in another episode. They're putting me in, which is um, e even a, even a bigger character. So my characters become sort of recurring in this in the series, which is great. I was in it a few years ago 
And then the director saw me in a play and he said, oh, I've got to get you back. So they, they like me. So they're doing, but also um, I'm going to the back in LA. So I've been to LA a few times and uh, I've got a green card. So I've been, um, I'll be auditioning for stuff. And on the back of the royal treatment, I hope that, you know, people are going to see it and like it. Mm -hmm. And they might go, hey, who's that guy? Let's get him in for another project. So, I mean, that's, that would be the, the dream, really, would be to do some more stuff of that quality. Um, so really, really, I mean, it's been a funny time, hasn't it? But we do so many auditions now like this um, yeah. on your phone, self-tests. Um, so really, I'm excited to get back to, back, back to L.A., um, particularly when the royal treatment's on, because I think it's going to have some impact and people are going to like it. So there's, look, only if I've got, not, I've got a, a, you know, another month or so filming this, this TV job. And then who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie is so like widely talked about and there's a lot of excitement around it. What do you hope that fans take from this movie after watching it? Absolutely. Well, and the sort of feedback from the small amount of people who've seen it already. And this is, what's great about it, and I was saying this to my friends, is it's completely family friendly. Like, and there's not a lot of movies now that both really young people and adults can really enjoy. Honestly, it's not a kid's film, it's an adult film. But young people, there's, there's, you know, there's no swearing, there's nothing offensive. It's really, it's, it's culturally diverse. It's very funny. Like it's, it is very, very funny, I have to say. But it's also very, it's also very moving. Um, I have to say, I was quite moved watching it. And there were times where people were in tears around me and going, oh, wow, because the stakes are quite high when you see it. You know, look, it's, it's a love story, of course. I mean, that's, it's, it's, been, it's a rom-com. But this, this is not your, this is not um, your run-of-the-mill one, I have to say. I'm not just saying this, having seen it. It really does have some other layers going on. And it's quite, it's, it's quite touching and moving. So I think people will find it, look, it looks good. I have to plug for New Zealand where it's filmed, you know. Um, the Neiden looks amazing. The Eden was fantastic to film in. Uh, by the way, The Power of the Dog was filmed very close to really? where we filmed. Yeah. Also in Dunedin, Otago, around that, is it the Lower South Island? A lot of Lord of the Rings was filmed there too. Great locations in New Zealand. So it looks fantastic. The whole production team made us look, look, I had a, an army of hair and makeup people making me look good. Thank goodness. Like a lot of close-ups you go, oh, thank God they, look, they made me look good. <laughs> it's like beautifully filmed. And also... Um, uh, but the, but more importantly, it's the story really grips you. And um, I think people people will be uh, amused and moved and then feel really great about it. And not in a cheesy way, like in a kind of genuine way. And I mean that. Uh, I think it's going to have a wide appeal, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to watch it when it comes out. But thank you for doing this interview and taking the time to talk to me. It was so great to talk to you. Oh, look, you're very welcome. And thank you for interviewing me. <laughs>